Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 tips that will help you improve the speed of your iPhone on iOS 13. So these are like 20 tips and tricks that you can do on your iPhone on iOS 13, turning things off, turning things on, of course, and doing some stuff that will help the overall performance of your iPhone, especially if you have like an older device that supports iOS 13. So here are 20 tips that will help your iPhone run much faster. First off is screen time. Make sure you turn off screen time if you don't use it. So every process that happens on your iPhone, of course, takes CPU power. And that, of course, will decrease the speed of your iPhone. So, of course, we have a ton of feature on our iPhones and some of them are very useful, but maybe you don't need them, you don't use them or you don't even care about them. Like I don't care about screen time. I have it on, but I don't really use it at all i don't even take a look at it at all so why have it there and decrease the performance of my device just go ahead go to settings go to screen time and make sure you turn it off of course enter your passcode and turn off screen time another thing i suggest you should turn off immediately if you don't use it is siri so go to settings go to siri and make sure you turn off these buttons right here if you don't use siri on your iphone or if you use it but you use it rarely you don't really need to have hey siri turned on make sure you turn that off directly from here so either way make sure you turn off any features that you don't need here in siri if you use it very rarely or if you don't use it at all don't leave it turned on Another thing I suggest you should turn off is iCloud backup. So go to settings, go to your profile, go to iCloud and make sure you turn off iCloud backup. So what this does is that all the time it will keep backing up files of your device and of course that will decrease the performance of your device. So go ahead, turn it off. Now of course when you want to make a backup, you can turn it on once the backup is finished, turn it off right away. So only when you need it, you can turn it on, otherwise keep it off. On the settings app on the iTunes and App Store section, you will see here a section that says automatic downloads. So you will have a few different switches for music apps, books, audiobooks, as well as app updates. Now, of course, these will decrease the performance of your device. So let's say you're performing a heavy task on your device at the same time your iPhone is automatically updating apps or installing apps. That, of course, will make the situation much, much worse. So go ahead and turn all of these off and of course you can then go ahead and manually update your apps when you're doing nothing on your device you're leaving your device charging or something you can go ahead and easily update your apps without it decreasing the performance of your iphone now something that a lot of iphone users believe they should do it's like a myth among iphone users is closing apps from the app switcher now according to apple you should not close them so basically ios will just leave the apps there in order for you to use them so they're ready to use once i open settings you can see it's ready to use it doesn't need to be reloaded from the beginning so that's what you should do keep the apps open on the app switcher now if you use an app like once every two or three days of course you can close that once you're done with it you can close that out of your app switcher but if you have apps like the social media apps and the settings app or the phone app that you use daily keep it on the app switcher that way it will load much faster on ios 13 now you will find a new section called accessibility so go to accessibility and then go to motion and what you need to do here is enable reduce motion now what this does is that it will reduce the animations of ios and that way of course will make your device work much much faster as you can see right here the animations are gone and it will load the apps basically without the animation which makes it much much faster also go to display and text size and enable reduce transparency this is very very important especially for older devices so it will reduce all the like transparent looks all those fancy looks that ios has but of course that will improve the speed of your ios device as i said especially if you have an older ios 13 device now something i've seen a ton of people do is keeping on low power mode 
all the time that is not meant to be on all the time so low power mode of course will save the battery of your iphone will make it last longer but it also decreases the performance of your device so only keep low power mode on when you need it when your iphone is on low battery otherwise make sure to turn it off because it will decrease the performance of your iphone on the safari settings make sure you go ahead and clear safari data now of course you're browsing on safari and doing all that stuff and the data just piles up there all the website data everything is right there so make sure you go ahead go to settings go to safari go to clear history and clear the safari history and the website data from here so do this regularly maybe once a week or once every four or five days you have to do that also a ton of people keep a ton of tabs open in safari in the background of course they will just pile up right there and maybe you don't even care to close them safari can do that automatically for you on ios 13 so what you need to do is go to settings go to the safari section and go right here to close tabs and choose the tabs to close automatically after like one week one month or even one day on the home screen of your ios 13 device you might have a ton of widgets enabled now of course the widgets will be all of the time being updated and all that stuff and that of course decreases the performance of your device as they take cpu power also it will make your battery run run out much much faster so what you need to do is just go to the edit button and just make sure you turn off all the widgets that you don't need so i keep just this one right here just the batteries nothing else just one widget on my home screen here i see a ton of people keep like 10 or 15 widgets probably don't even use them at all most of them don't use them so go ahead and turn them off next is background app refresh go to settings go to general and go to background app refresh and this is very very important first of all make sure you go to background app refresh and choose wi-fi so the background app refresh will work only when your device is connected to the wi-fi not to the cellular data you also have an option here to completely turn off background app refresh but if you don't want to do that you can go back and you will have a list here of all the apps that you have on your device and you can go ahead and turn on or off background app refresh for any of the apps based on how you need them to be go ahead and turn them off right here location services is also another thing that will decrease the performance of your iphone because it's all the time working in the background now all of these things will be much much noticeable on older devices so go to settings go to location services and make sure to turn it off so if you don't need it to be on all the time make sure you turn it off or if you leave it on just make sure you go ahead and you select your apps keep it on only for the apps that you use it and just go ahead and turn it to never for the apps that you don't need it to be on now the same thing goes for notifications you don't need all the apps to have notifications on all the time like you can see right here i have a bunch of apps here which i don't even care about their notifications they just send in notifications which i'm not interested in and of course that will decrease the performance and also battery life of your iphone so make sure you turn notifications off for all of the apps which you don't need it to be on another very important thing on performance on your iphone is the space the free space that you have on your iphone so make sure you go to settings go to general and go to iphone storage and here you can see a list of all of your apps and you will see which apps are taking the most space on your iphone or for example like photos or videos whatever you have on your iphone so if you have low space on your iphone make sure you go ahead and delete stuff that you don't need to have on your iphone like a game for example or a bunch of videos that you don't care about and of course improve your iphone speed by increasing the free storage on your iphone another thing that will really help on improving the speed of your iphone is clearing the ram memory of your iphone now you can do that by going to accessibility go to touch go to assistive touch and make sure you enable it right there then go to the power down menu and from here what you gotta do is tap on the button and tap and hold the home button once it goes home it clears the ram memory of your iphone now you can do the same with on devices with the home button but on that case you will have to press and hold the home button of the iphone 
Another thing you can do to improve the speed of your iPhone by increasing its free storage, you can go to settings, go to camera, and from here you can go ahead and go to formats and you can choose high efficiency. This is a new format that will make basically your photo smaller and that way you will have more free space on your iPhone. That way more free space, faster iPhone. And of course, the last things that you should do if anyone, and of course, if nothing of, and of course, if none of these help, then there are a few other things that you can do. You can reboot your iPhone every once in a while. I suggest you reboot your iPhone. That's very, very good. Like once a week or once every three or four days, go ahead and reboot your iPhone. If nothing helps, you can also go ahead and reset the settings of your iPhone to make it work faster. Now, if your internet is slow, I had that happen on my iPhone here on the iPhone 10. Just go ahead and reset the network settings. That will help as well. And last but not least, keep your iPhone updated. Keep your iPhone updated at the latest software, at the latest fixes and improvements of iOS. So all the time Apple is releasing new firmwares, of course, improving iOS, fixing problems, fixing like battery drains issues and all that stuff. And with iOS 13, Apple has really improved the speed of the iPhone. For example, launching apps, the stock apps on iOS is just blazing fast on all devices, even on the older ones. So make sure you keep your iOS updated all the time. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 20 tips that will help you improve the speed of your iPhone on iOS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 13 videos. And I will see you on the next one.